Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Uh, GMS, uh, stop and listen on location with GMS News of Moth. Got the brother of uh, Yashar to my left. Quite a lot to my right. You know, and um, we just just feeding off what's 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 in the news now, and, and, and you know, piggybacking. We want to speak on what's happening. Uh, I uh, basically like a quote or a sentence the brother from uh, Mystery of the Kingdom, GMS of uh, Birmingham, said, "How do you know when you're on the streets or the highways where you're going? They have signs, right? Mm -hmm. That's how you know, and that's how we know." America's getting ready to be destroyed, right? We have we have a, a science. Let me get a second Ezra nine one. Second Ezra nine one. Yeah. So we 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 look at the signs, man, and current events and what's happening. And the big thing we just seen, and you know, in the news that the Most High is bringing judgment, man. He's bringing judgment. Last week we had a uh, Ethiopian uh, plane crash that killed everybody on the plane, and you knew once you saw how it hit the ground that it wasn't no going to be no survivors, because when they hit the ground it exploded, man, it exploded. People were getting messed up, right? You have uh, the brother Malcolm put out it's like thirty nine mass shootings already in two thousand eighteen, mm. and they eat them mice, man, you know, and we can we can you know. Uh, you just had a shooting in New Zealand with the Edomite that killed the 49 people. And this judgment is being brought. Uh, go ahead, where you would you go? Uh, this is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. It says, it says, he, it says he answered 17. me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Measure the time, man. Time is a sequence of events, past, present, or future, right? You must measure it by seeing what's going on. We measure it by what the scriptures, what the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai has said, right? We read the scriptures and then when that current event come out, we can we can go back and say, oh, the scriptures already said it. Letting us know that this book is 100% truth, man. The scriptures are 100% truth. It says in Proverbs 30, 30 and 5, these are pure words, man, of the Heavenly Father, man. Go ahead. Kind of says... Says, uh, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, mm -hmm. then shalt thou understand that it is the very the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Come, he say he begins to visit, meaning to punish the world that he made, and he's punishing these people, man. Come. The times of the signs past. How do we know that the Edomite that shot the forty nine people? How how do we know that that's part of his mo? Because the scripture says it, man. Mm -hmm. we, we know through what? Through the scripture says here in Maccabees, when they took over, wickedness multiplied in the earth, yeah. man. Things like that, killing for no no reason, man. That's un, un I mean it's a it's a reason for, for to fulfill the, the Lord's will, but that was a killing on the a mindset just to go and just kill and slay, man. Mm -hmm. Just cause they can, man. He saw he, just like he took over Gad. And took over or Jake because he could. He felt in his spirit that he could do it. There was nothing to hinder Esau from doing what he. That's why in the time of Jacob's trouble, yeah. ain't nothing gonna hinder this man. Like it says, yeah. there shall be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter thirty-nine, verse twenty-eight. It says there be spirits. Six, seventeen. Seventeen. It says it says that there be spirits mm -hmm. that are created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. Which in the fury lay on sore strokes. And this all from the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. He sent those spirits down here, man. And he looks to the left hand side and gives Satan that order and he he sends his he sends his spirits down here to get on people, man. That's how that that's that happens, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Man, that Edomite, when you show him he didn't he didn't, he had a blank look on his face. It was a blank look like of no care, like he really didn't even know what was going on. When you see the pictures of him, man. You know, go ahead. It says, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force 
and appease the wrath of him that made them. See, and hey, if you see the video, man, he was popping, man. Mm -hmm. He was changing clips on them. I mean, just shooting people like with no remorse. And you could tell it had to be another spirit on him because one of the men tried to run by him. It looked like he could have really rushed the dude and tackled him, but he shot him like it was like dude was right up on him. And the Most High still had had him be able to turn it and pop it right quick. Hey, that's that's hey, the Lord had that spirit of vengeance on him, man, mm -hmm. and he displayed it in that mosque, man. Yeah. You know, go ahead. It says teeth of wild beast. That's it on there. Okay, come yeah. Go ahead. Seventeen and mm -hmm. thirteen. Huh. And it says, uh, "Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, okay. yeah. cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked." Which is thy sword? He said, "The wicked, which is thy sword." So Esau, you you really put here to be that whooping stick for your howl boss and your shot, man. He proved that in in, in, in in that shooting. I guarantee you, it was some of them people were probably Jake in the spirit, yeah. You know, or they were Jake, yeah, they were Jake in the bullshit. It Jake into their bullshit. You know, give me a. Uh, Psalms 119 and 126. This is the book of Psalms. Uh, okay. This is Psalms 119 and verse 26. And it says, I have declared my ways. I have declared my ways and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. Mm -hmm. Make me to understand the way of thy prop, uh, of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous work. 19 and 126. Uh, 126, a lot, it's a lot. This is Psalms 19 and 126. Mm -hmm. And it says, it is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. See, they have made void thy law. It's like we were just brother just mentioned, it's probably some of them people in there with Jake in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Into that what? Islam shit. Yep. Right? You worship other gods. Let me read that again. And it says, it is time for thee, Lord, to work for thy, for they have made void thy law. So it was time for him to put that work in. He had to, them, them spirits put that work in because who? It's probably some Jakes in there they had made void your how about Shemiah Shai's law. And worshiping uh, 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 to uh, uh, the cobblestone and, and Allah and shit, mm -hmm. you know. So the Lord put that work in on them. Is it? Okay. Huh. And it says, therefore, I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above my fine gold. Mm -hmm. So we love these commandments more than gold, man. We gonna we gonna follow these laws and these statutes and commandments. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, what you got? Uh, Psalms ninety six and five. It says, for all the gods mm -hmm. of the nations are idols. But Yahweh made the heavens. See, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua made the heavens, man. Read that again. God right, says, for all the gods of the nations are idols. They all idols, man. Islam, Scientology, you got Buddha, mm -hmm. that hates the lossy shit. Uh, what else? Uh, Molech, mm -hmm. Baphomet. Jesus. Yeah, uh, Jesus, this modern day Christianity. Mm -hmm. Those that's idols, man. Like the, like the brother had mentioned, I was watching the brother in uh, Kabari Howard and he's in L.A. He said, Baphomet allowed y'all to be uh, uh, homosexuals. The Haley Selassie guy allows you to smoke weed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smoking weed. You know? Hey, those idols, man. Go ahead. Oh, okay. It says... I mean... Okay. okay. And it says... For you just heard 90, uh, 96 and 5? Yeah. Okay, calm, calm. You can get... Where are Let's see. Yeah, so, hey, man, it's, it's vengeance being brought out, man. Like, how about should y'all shot? Okay. You know? This is, uh... Us. Okay, no. Okay, okay. Uh, this is, uh, First Chronicles 16 and 14. Mm-hmm. Real quick. Okay. It says, mm, it says, um, kind of says, He is Yahweh, our power. He is Yahweh, our power, right? Mm -hmm. The power of the universe. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh is his name. Mm -hmm. It's not God. Those are, are titles. 
right? Lord is the title. His name is Yahweh, and his son is Yahweh Shai, right? He says, his judgments are in all the earth. His judgments are in all the earth. Man, people are getting messed up all around the planet right now, man. Hey, if you try to keep up everything that's happening on this planet, okay. all you can't. It, it, like, it'll just, you'll be tired, man. Because judgment is going out, man. In every city, in every county, in every every street, it's a judgment going out. Whether you get shot by a bullet, you dying from diabetes, you dying from a heart attack, or you getting hit by a vehicle, vehicle accidents. It's judgment going out, man. And this is that time. It told you in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. Mm -hmm. Now is when the highest is coming to what? Visit the earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Now this is um, Psalms 97 and 89. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And we rejoice, man, when we see mm -hmm. these judgments. Because we know these judgments, when they happen, we know what? It's getting closer and closer to the end, man. We're getting closer and closer to, to, to the urshan end of this new kingdom. We're getting closer to seeing Yahweh shot come back on them chariots. But these things must happen, man. But you people look at it and you say, oh, that's bad. That devil. But these things must happen. He told you that in Matthew 24, man. Mm -hmm. The beginning of sorrows, man. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. It says, it says, it says uh, verse 9, oh, For thou, O Yahweh, art, uh, art, high, huh, um, art high above all the earth mm -hmm. that are that are exalt that are exalted far above all gods. Mm -hmm. mm. You above all those gods, man. Mm -hmm. So Yahweh is above all those those idols that y'all worship, man. So when you're not worshiping him, hey, he's a jealous power, man. You know, man. Hey, that's that's why you see all this judgment going on in the earth. Yeah. These you other know? gods are paper mache, man. Yeah. The paper mache. Mm -hmm. Quick reset. This is Habakkuk 2. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because, it come, right? no, it, but because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the vision is yet for an appointed time. The prophecies, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Read that again. Mm -hmm. Go up a little bit. Come. And it says... For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So their prophecies are going to happen in their their fixed time. It's a time for everything to happen. It tells you that in Ecclesiastes, man, the first chapter. So when he, when, when it's time for this, it was just time for that mass shooting. That that was the appointed time for them mm -hmm. to bring judgment on those heathen. And I bet you, it was some of them was Jason, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them was Jason. I bet you, right? Is this clear? But at the end it shall speak mm. and not lie. At the end it shall speak and not lie because we know it's not lying because it's already speaking in the in the Bible. But when we see it, it's just edification, knowing that the Lord's word is true, mm. and only the men of the Lord are gonna understand it. Go ahead. Though it tarry, it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, tarry means delay. Though it's delaying, wait for it because the destruction of the, the ultimate destruction is not going to delay. At that appointed time, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy America, man, and bring this thermonuclear destruction. That's it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It's surely going to come. When he says surely, when you see the Lord saying surely, that's a, that's a that's a confirmation, man. Mm -hmm. That's just like you buy a plane ticket. Your confirmation number is this, meaning what? You got to ride on that yeah. plane. When he says surely in the scriptures, that's the confirmation. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. This yeah. is uh, Psalms 106 and 36. Yeah. It says, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Ooh, they served their <laughs> idols, which was a snare unto them. It's mm -hmm. a trap. Yep. So you being in that mosque serving Allah and serving the cobblestone, it was a trap. It was a trap unto you, man. You people did not know that that, was, that trap was set when they opened them doors and welcomed you in. Yeah. It, that was a death trap. Mm -hmm. You know, think about it. When you look at the video, he went in there and started popping. You hear the gun, but when, look, how did he go in the room 
And people huddled up. Y'all ain't got no goddamn back door to that motherfucker? Mm -hmm. Pardon my French, but ain't no, ain't no, to a, every room need a door you can get out, really. Yeah. Because yeah. think about it, it looked like Call of Duty. He went mm -hmm. through there, he, the people huddled up in the room, and pop, 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 pop. Then you all huddled up. When you first heard the first pop, it wasn't no side door you could run out of. Right. Yeah, it's like, hey, there's a death trap, bro. And it's really against regulations, because yeah. certain buildings, you have to have an emergency exit. It was a, it was an upgraded uh, juke joint. You know the jerk joint's only one door way in, one way out. You know, man. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah fifty nine and seven. It mm -hmm. says, "Their feet run to evil, mm -hmm. and they make haste to shed innocent blood." That's Esau, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. go ahead. It says their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, mm -hmm. wasting and destruction, or in their past. And he was. Mm -hmm. He probably was thinking about how he was gonna kill him. He thought about it. You know why I know he thought about it? He had a cam on his head. He had writing on the clips. Writing on the clips. On the gun. A flasher was on the uh, muzzle. Yeah, so he wasn't just a, a thing about Esau. Esau doesn't, Esau likes a short thing, man. Okay, that's why he went in with the way, he, he went into a place overly, um, overly armored and overly ready, ready mm -hmm. for a place that he knew that there might not even be a damn knife in that place. Because he took advantage of an innocent Esau likes a sure thing. When the Nate, when Gad would go out and hunt, they would go into the village because that was a sure thing. Yeah, nobody's carrying a weapon in, in church. They rice, they picking, they yeah. yeah, he knew it. It was a sure thing. He put the flashes on so he know if they, somebody did have something, mm -hmm. then he'd be able to at least flash them, man. Esau is not a warrior like that, man. He 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 has the sword, but he's not a warrior. Warrior wouldn't a, a sure kill is not something he if, 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 if it's not sure he don't go after it, bro that's right. what Esau's doing that's right. why he's thinking that he can come and Jake because we're gonna be a short thing in the time of Jacob's trouble but it says what he's gonna raise up a standard against him because he's not anticipating us getting these right. things that he can't see he can't measure right. Esau watches us you don't think he watches spiritual power that's right. why this man went into that situation and killed those people because it was a sure kill. Mm -hmm. It was an innocent kill. Right. Mm -hmm. Even when he goes out there and hunts deer, this man will have yeah. a 30 eye. Yeah. It can mm -hmm. take off something from half a mile away and he'll blow the deer off right there because mm -hmm. it's a sure thing. Yeah. He can't fight back. Yeah, uh, and the thing is that Esau knows about spiritual power and that's why he comes out with with these uh movies, man. Yeah. Captain Marvel. Yeah. for you. you know what uh, Genesis 27, 39, mm -hmm. Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heavens from above. Verse 40, And by thy sword shall thy live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke off thy neck. Mm -hmm. So his, uh, he can speak on you. Uh, All right, man. So Esau's blessing was the sword, mm -hmm. all right, um, and to live off the fatness of the earth. That's why Esau lives in the best parts of the earth, man, because that's his blessing. So this is his heaven here, man. This is his heaven. So he can do do whatever he please right now. Mm -hmm. But as soon as Esau's time is up, then he's going to have to pay for what he's done. It's as simple as that. He owns, wherever you see a body of water, Esau owns that land. Mm -hmm. He knows, he knows if you own water, you, you know you're going to survive. It's maritime. Yeah. Any, anywhere you see a pond, they own it. Yep. Jake them know, you know what I mean? It's like, Jake them only have sense enough to like buy two acres and just make them a, a self-made pond. Esau would dig a, a, a trench in the ground, make him a pond. Yeah. Where, you know. Mm -hmm. He's got under, underground water storage. Because mm -hmm. he know once he has control of that, that source of water, guess what? The animals are gonna come drink. So therefore, he can take that same gun you were saying, he can mm -hmm. shoot deer, because they all gonna come eat. You can have fish, you know what I mean? Every, all the animals are gonna come drink water if they know a water source. That's why you, that's a, that's a great point, because in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, he's not gonna have to, you'd be like, man, how can Esau control, you know, a simple person how can this man control all this land and people? He don't have to control all the land and people. You have to control access points. It's called choke points. You control choke points. If you control the, the where the water's at, then you ain't gonna have to go round up people. It's right. gonna be a week, two weeks, mm -hmm. three weeks. You can't live but a certain amount of days without that water. Right. 
And then the food, you just gotta control the food and the water and they're gonna come mm -hmm. to you. And the ones that don't are gonna die off because you yeah. already know that they can't survive out of that net. Right. You, like you said, waterways. In the ancient world, why do you think cities were built by waterways? Metropolitans were built by waterways. You didn't have somebody go deep into the landmass like mm -hmm. you have now. Right. Like right now, you can go into the middle of a country and live. Mm -hmm. Because what? You got uh, ways to produce water there, bring water there. You can go to the store and live out in the middle of the country. Right. But in the ancient world, you had to be, unless you had a well, you had to yeah. dig a well. Like mm -hmm. it says, what? Well of uh, uh, Abraham's well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Egypt was right by uh, the Nile River. Yeah. And 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 the, the Sea of Galilee was right in, uh, was right, uh, was right in Israel, man. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, I did a little research. They said that the Egypt down to now I had like 50, if I'm not saying like 50 little uh, offsets when you went down the river that was okay. a, of what's connected to Egypt. Mm. When you went down now, they would be provinces that would be conquered by the Egyptians. You know what? I mean, I guess on it, but you brothers go ahead, man. Okay. But so, everything's repeating itself. Yeah. Gun. Um, like the brother read, you just read Psalm 106 where it said, uh, that the idols would be a snare unto them. Mm -hmm. Like, the same thing happened to them heathens. It could have been some jakes in there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen to the nation of Israel on a whole. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna read this as Ezekiel 6 and 5. And it says, I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel mm. before their idols. Mm. Mm. Damn. So all you did be worshiping Islam, you five Damn. sinners, Right, you people just going to these churches, these uh, Baptist and Methodist churches, worshiping Cesare Bozier. The Lord said He's gonna lay your dick, your car right there, right there, man. And He did. He did it in South Carolina. Yeah, you know, He did it with them, and it's gonna happen. On, it's gonna happen more and more, man. I mean, I'm telling you, man. You you people take a chance on getting up on Sunday mornings, man, going out there worshiping Cesare, man. Right. Call yourself and go. Go to the house of the Lord, man. I'm telling you, man. The, 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 hey, how about Shemel Shai? It's getting ready. The Lord just told you, man. Now the time when the highest has been to visit the earth, man. Yep. We're going to hear more church shootings, man. It's yep. not done. You know? I'm waiting to hear how. I'm waiting to hear Esau just going there and throwing like 10 grenades yeah, in the church my, and run out. And just, blow, just blow it all. You know, blow, just blow everybody up, man. They you did know? that with them, uh, that uh, church bombing. Remember them girls? Come those are mm -hmm. Edomites that did that. They threw a, a Molotov cocktail about, in the, uh, uh, the Birmingham. Or Alabama, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. they wanted them two little girls, mm -hmm. they went in there and that was Esau that did that, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't care if he was sir. That showed you Esau didn't care about God because he went in so-called the house of God mm -hmm. and threw a, a Molotov cocktail in the in the house of worship, man. Right. Mm -hmm. He did that with it. He didn't care who he killed. He wanted to kill more. He was pissed off. It was only two little girls, man. Right. Uh, just like those and Columbine shootings. Mm-hmm. Edomites, man. Uh, I mean, in that shooting in Colorado some years ago, of the, uh, I mean, walked in the uh, uh, movie uh, a theater and just shot everybody up. Yeah. Come on, man. Esau, he's, man, he's not afraid to use the sword, man. He's not afraid to use it, man. It says the, the devil has come down unto you having, having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. So mm -hmm. he so he's gonna he's gonna ride down on Israel, man. Because this is because he's not gonna because he's not about to give up his kingdom without a fight, man. Alright, all right, man, he saw he's gonna take some dead bodies with him, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, man. And this and this is what this scripture right here talks about. The reason why he's gonna kill you for that, this is uh, Ezekiel 20 and 16, because they despise my judgments mm. and walk not in my statutes, but polluted my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols, man. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all had y'all had it, man. It, it was, and when you keep reading on, it goes into the wilderness. I was just gonna say, back in the wilderness, man, you got you got to. The law, statutes, commandments from Moses, man. You did what you still wanted to do. Yep. When he went up there, what did y'all do? He told Aaron, you put all the jewels together and melted it down. Make us a calf. Make us you know? a god. They said, make us a god. And, and, and molted it. I'm talking about, that shows you how 
how cold Jake is, man. For y'all to put jewelry, you know you had to have a fire in a pot, and then it had to cool off, and then y'all made like an image out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In 40 days. Mm -hmm. Jake is cold, man. Yeah, Jake was Jake was cold singing, man. And he cold with wickedness, man. That's mm -hmm. why y'all ass go die. Yeah. That's why y'all go die, man. That's why y'all go die, man. Uh, Isaiah 66. 15? 15. Okay. It says, yeah. uh, okay. so, for behold, 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 the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his swords will he plead with all flesh mm -hmm. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Thermonuclear missiles, man. That's how the Lord is going to visit you in the end. That's how he's going to visit you for all these iniquities, for all these idols that you worship. It's going to be more than just Esau coming in and popping you. And that's just a prelude to what's going to come. Because when time of Jacob's trouble, martial law comes, when they kick your doors in, when you read in uh, 2 Ezra 16, chapter around 73, 74, it tell you they're going to be like madmen sparing none. Mm -hmm. And when they're going to bust in on you, a lot of you, when they bust in on you, that's what you're going to see, that flashing light, and, and you're going to see the white light because they're gonna, you're going to feel the burn from them uh, bullets, man. Mm -hmm. The same way symbolic of the nuclear destruction. You're going to see a flashing light yeah. in the distance, and then you're going to feel the burn. I, when I seen that light, I, I, that's what I thought of. New construction gonna be the same way. You gonna see a flash of light. You gonna feel the burn, and that's what y'all gonna feel, man. The time of Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. right? Okay, what you do? This is uh, Zechariah ten and two. It says, "For the idols 10, 34, have 10, spoken 10, vanity." 10, 34, it says, "For the idol have." Well, the idols have spoken vanity. See, worthless, man. Those idols, they don't even like, really, they don't even speak. Right. David proved that to uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar, didn't he? Remember? Yeah. In, in the temple, he was feeding the uh, idol. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't speak, man. Uh -huh. They don't eat. You know, go ahead. It says, for the idols have spoken in vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie. Mm, Y'all seen a lie, man. Mm-hmm. Mm it says, and have told false dreams. Mm -hmm. They kind of they comfort in vain. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they went their way as a flock. They went their way as a flock. Yep. It says they were troubled, but because there was no shepherd. We was troubled because there was no shepherd, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no shepherd in Islam, man. Uh -uh. In the mosque, man. Ain't no shepherd in the Christian church, man. Mm -hmm. The true shepherds are the, are the men of GMS that are out on the highways and byways. Pushing this word in truth and sincerity and doing these sit downs, man. Yep. These are the true shepherds, man. Oh, how about shot, man? Them, them guys are hirelings, man. Hirelings. That's so. That's the hirelings. And I seen a photo the other Crazy. day. Yep. Yeah, I speak. There was, there was a photo, and it was a sheep dog, right? And the sheep dog was, just got done fighting a wolf, and the sheep dog like risked his life for the wolf, right? And the sheep dog was sitting there laying down. He's all fucked up and bloody. His face was bloody. And then one of the lambs came over and was like comforting the sheep dog, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because the lambs even knew that this sheep dog mm -hmm. risked his life yeah. for me. So that's the same thing that that's if a, if an animal can do that. Imagine what Jake is really once they see once we. That's gonna be the uh, also a, 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 a upliftment for y'all by Shimmy Shai because of us putting our lives and saying, man, we standing on this. Them right. sheep are gonna know like, damn, these dudes is. They for real standing on it. They out here, they call terrorists, they still pushing the word. That's gonna, that, it says in the day of thy power, mm -hmm. that that's a part of power, bro. Yeah. The sheep are gonna be like, damn, this is my shepherd. Because yeah. the, 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 you seen the picture, I'll show you, bro. The, the sheep came up and was licking, licking the sheep dog, bro. And the sheep dog was bloody, man. You know? But that's, that, that, that just, just had to speak on that, man. That's the same way when, when you see cats, when they, when they stand on the other side, they constantly see you coming out. This cat's been seeing the same thing over and over for years now. So now they, like you said, they, oh, these gotta be the shepherds, and they come out and they join the camp. Exactly. You know, and especially in the time of that 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 persecution, uh, that that heavy. Go 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 go. Go ahead, keep speaking. That heavy, oh. the heavy persecution, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna know, and they're gonna want. They're gonna they're gonna know that these men have been pushing the truth and pushing the right way. And we ain't doing it for money. That's why IUIC is being found out. That's why these other camps that are not pushing the truth is being found out. This is what we're coming to, man. That's why it says the foolishness of preaching, the foolishness of risking ourselves. When they, they made that slick disc, snow dummies, 
But that snow mm -hmm. dummies, bro, that probably bought a lot of men. Like, man, you out yeah. there in the snow for pushing the truth. You out here keep mm -hmm. doing it and keep pushing it. But these other guys that don't realize that, man, you ain't going to have no shepherd. That's why you're going to be caught up in this ju the judgment that's coming down the line, man. You know, these mass shootings, these things that are taking place, this is all to what? This is all for the glorification of Yah Bashim Yashah, man, because he ain't dealing with these other truths, man. Just like it says, we read in the streets, it says, when the Lord's foundation, no, no house can be built. There can right. no be no kind of other foundation even started when this most high push this thing, man. That's right. why you guys gonna get caught up, you're gonna be killed, you're gonna be fucked up, you're gonna get caught up with this, with that, because it's gonna be diverse judgments, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we hope to be, like it says in Psalms, be hid under the pavilion, man. We're doing mm -hmm. this for for something. Right. You know, we're, we're hoping for mercy, man. Yeah. Yeah, because we're not doing this just to be, just to be doing it, man. We have a purpose of, of doing it, man. And we see the prize, man. Now, the prize is being, is, is being the first ones on the mm -hmm. chariots, man. 29. And, 10, 10, 10, 10. All right, man, and, and, uh, um, and, uh, uh, um, and getting into the uh, kingdom on the first go round, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing it, man. Because we have faith in it. We know it's gonna happen. We see it. We can taste it, man. We can taste the destruction, man. It's right. coming. Now we read uh, Psalm seventeen and thirteen. Yeah. It said that that uh, basically Esau the Lord swore. And the brother just mentioned, he was speaking, I heard him say a key word when he was speaking, he said terrorists. I looked the word terrorists up, right? They didn't give you a definition, but it really sent you to terrorism. Mm -hmm. Terrorism is the use of violence and threats to intimidate or coerce, especially for mm -hmm. a political purpose, you know? Right? And that's part of what you saw, mm -hmm. that guy doing that shooting. Man. The state of fear and submission produced by terrorism Produced by that violence, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not the terrorists, man. We're not bringing violence. We're only reading the scriptures, man. Right. We are men who have been been uh, called to do this by the power of Yahweh Esau, you the real uh, terrorist, man. He's a t he's a certified terrorist. You, yeah, you certified. You give it names. You give it names like acronyms: FBI, CIA, uh, Blackwater. Mm -hmm. Y'all are fucking terrorists, man. You know, that was a terrorist act the dude did, man. Yeah. Because that's going to bring fear. Now, everybody in New Zealand finna tip around, scared as hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. afraid to go and fucking get you know? some a mashing ham and shit. And, uh, exactly. Right. Mashing taters. And, and I think he said something about what inspired him to do it was like something about Trump had said or something. Yeah. Like, it all. It, so it always tied Babylon. Yeah, it always tied Babylon back to it. Yeah, let me say that. Uh, King of Babylon. Let me see. He, uh, um, he basically said uh, Trump, he roused up the the white power spirit. Yeah, that white power spirit and yeah. con, con, that's it. Because yeah. I remember him saying something like that, that white power spirit. You know what I mean? Like like the brother said, it was an easy kill for you, man. Yep. Yeah. All those people in there docile, they ain't got no weapons. You knew you, you didn't, you didn't even go in the Baptist church. Take the mic and pull the pistol out of yeah. the pulpit. Might have had one of them old 38s. They got a chopper. Yeah. They right. came out with a uh, chopper. Just put the 38 by yeah. the criminals. And I know it's true because, <laughs> hey, I got a cousin that's, that's a preacher, man. He'll tell you right now, I'm strapped every Sunday. Damn. He got two pistols. You know? Cause you know he used to be, he used to be in that life, man. You know yeah. what I mean? He used to be in that life. So now he's a preacher. He got guns, man. <laughs> you know he carry gun. He got that robe on when you come out on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He, 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 like you said, he went to New Zealand. He went to the other side of the world. They real yeah. outside. Yeah, know? yeah. Hey, you know, you look yeah. at the TV. New Zealand, one of the best places you can yeah. ever go. He was soft. Calm and he, peaceful place. He had time to write his hand. And when yeah. you seen the writing on the thing, that was real. And that dude could have been MK Ultra. Yeah. You know, a lot of them, a lot of these guys that do that mass shooting, they, they yeah. don't even realize it when they get done. Because you see his face. He, was like, he don't even know what the hell is going on. You don't even know what's going on. He's going to wake up in the pen serving almost death row, if Man. not consecutive life terms. Like, like, like the brother was saying, why didn't they kill his ass? Exactly. They did all that killing with the police. You ain't even got shot. 
because they got to have the because they they have to what does they do? He said they take advantage of, of situations like 9 11 they took advantage of it mm -hmm. because they got something out of it yeah. when they got dude on trial they're going to be able to pass this law they're going to be yeah. able to parade them money, around money it's going to put put a lot of attention so yeah. he's going to be an ongoing thing it's not yeah. going they would have shot him we would have forgot his ass tomorrow man yeah. we would have mm -hmm. been on the news they would have been like gunmen dead people dead mourning and then they go back about their yeah, life but the agenda now with him being alive people are like we want justice Yep. This is a quick precept in Matthews, Micah 2 and 2, and it says, For they covet fields and take them by violence. Mm. Mm. The house, it says, in houses and take them away, and they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Hey, and that's what Esau did when they came over to Columbus. Them. Yep. They, covered, they coveted what we had. They already knew it was beautiful stuff over here from when mm -hmm. Solomon used to come over here. Right. Mm -hmm. So and then when, when Columbus started reading Ezra, he knew. They came over here and got busy, man. And it was a what? Easy kill. Easy mm -hmm. kill, man. Because Columbus said it out of his mouth. He said, with 50 men, we could take over the whole land. You ain't mm -hmm. even got to give me a, 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 a battalion. Yeah. You give me 50 men and, and some horses. That. Like, it's, like that situation, it didn't need no two shooters. It was only one dude. He just had many rounds, you know, you know with the right kind of uh, weapon. That, that shoot burst, that shoot, that, you know what I mean? 30 round clips, man. Shit. I saw him reload twice, so that means he had to shoot like 80 rounds or 100. Yeah. And he was yeah. shooting the same little corner of people. Yeah. Man. And it says, this is uh, Matthews 10 and verse 34. All right, all right. And I had that too. Yeah. Yeah. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Mm. For I am. He said, think not. Now, this is the Lord. This is red. Think not that I come to send mm -hmm. peace, man, because y'all think y'all about Shim Al Shai is all roses and love, 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 and love, the hugging bug. No, he's not like that. He said, I come to send a sword. A sword is a killing instrument that brings a, a destructive effect. He's going to bring it through martial law, mm -hmm. uh, 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 sedition among men, thermonuclear destruction, man. That's how he's going to bring it. He's going to bring it when the chariot tells the second Ezra, man. 13, when he gonna bring with them chariots, them, them laser beams, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, the Lord, hey, he got, hey, he say he gonna visit you. Mm -hmm. You go into the word visit, it means punish too. So he gonna punish y'all, man. I know you got one to yeah. go on. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 3. I'll, I'll start at one and skip down. It says, To everything there is a season mm -hmm. and the time to every purpose under the heaven. Now it says, A time to kill. Mm -hmm. And the time to heal, mm -hmm. a time to break down, and a time to build up. See, and this is the time mm -hmm. of breaking down of, of the society of Babylon. Mm -hmm. It's the breaking down time now. Mm -hmm. And the building up time is after that nuclear destruction, then we put you in slavery. We put your nose in and fed us of iron when you read in uh, Psalm 149. That's going to be that time of building up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, a time to love and a time to hate. A time, time to love, of war. A time to hate. Yeah. Right? A time of war and a time of peace. Time of war and a time of peace. We at war. We've been at war. Right. Mm -hmm. We've been at war for. We've been at war. We've been at war for the last three thousand years, man. <laughs> we really like. Really, we, yeah. like you know, as a whole, we're like we're like spiritual veterans. We, we're like a little break in there between three thirty A.D. to about thirteen hundred, but we've been at war. We've been at war for a long time. You know. And, and that time, hey, the time for the end of that war, the time for peace is coming, man. Just like when King David, like we were saying, he was a hit man for Solomon. Solomon didn't really have to do nothing but let the Lord give him the wisdom how to run it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we going through that now, getting this wisdom on how to run this next kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. And how is Shai going to be that hit man to come back? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, how you, that's how you know, man, it's in our spirit. Because it's like we do, we do certain things. That most people will run from. Most people look at with disdain and look at like what what kind of spirit got to be on you. You just don't hop in one life and you just come out and just like yeah you're gonna do this. No, it's like you're used to that that you run into something that is adverse. It, it goes against all matter of mind in the in the world you see today. Mm -hmm. People don't want to go out there in the cold. People barely want to walk to their damn car in the in the winter time. Right. That that's a bother. You got to think what is in your mind. To be able to be like, you know what, I'm going to go out here and I'm pushing this truth 
stand out here and just almost freeze, you know what I'm saying? Not even freeze, but just be out there. Mm -hmm. And then you're contesting, then you're battling people, then you do it in the summertime. You just don't do that, man. It's like we're veterans, we're spiritual. We had to have done it. That's why it says the spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophet. Mm -hmm. You have to. You don't mm -hmm. exercise. That's why some come in, they like, man, I gotta lay it down, or they'll mock us for doing yeah. it. We like, we just do, you know what I'm saying? We just yeah. doing it. You just doing it. It's something you don't see yourself not doing it. Right. And yeah, uh, King David, it, uh, uh, he he made sure that his son Solomon ruled in peace. Mm -hmm. That's what he wanted, man. Yep. And and who put the spirit on King David to to slay all the heathen, man? Yeah, how it did. You know, the spirit, because he even did it on his deathbed. Yeah. Because he told Solomon, look, you got to kill him. Yeah. He was a warrior till his last. He yeah. Was, you know, yeah. laying there, he said, look, you got to kill him. You got to kill him. <laughs> you got to kill him. Yeah. He, that's, because hey, it said his son lived in peace, man. Yeah. So, hey, that's why Yahweh Shai, he got the order. You got to kill these Edomites, man. Man, that was You got to kill, you got to destroy America. You got to destroy Babylon. Yeah, they we can't. It cannot. They Esau can't be around. It's gonna be a thousand years, and he's gonna have a small battalion, and we gonna have to take care. We gonna be like, look at this simple guy. Mm -hmm. He's gonna come. He gonna come at us again. It's in him. Right now, just like Yahweh Shad, he's 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 going to come back and, and slay all the heathen and put the heathen in slavery, so we can dwell in peace. Come, that's it. Take that's it. That's it. Come. Okay, go ahead. Are you done? Yeah. All right, man. Brothers ain't got, got nothing else. Hey, we got nothing else. That's all you got to say. Hey, so Abu Rafa's artist was edifying. And with that, we want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar, Wadash. And we give double honors to our apostle elders and to you hopeful men on the four corners of the planet Earth. Keep pushing, keep enduring. Like right. always, man, keep that faith. We're in a beautiful th time, man. And, and hey, judgment is coming, man. Right. That's right. Shalom. Shalom.